We will now be making the third flower for the wrist corsage. It's a much smaller version than the flower that we just made. Um, so a similar fashion, very similar steps, just a smaller flower. That's what I'll be showing you next. So I've got all my parts laid out here and I'm going to be building my smaller flower. We're gonna start just like we did with the bigger flower, actually exactly like, and we're gonna start with the smallest hearts and we're going to build our flower from the inside out, just like we did before. So I'm going to coat my toothpick with tape, which is what I did, and start my rolling process. We've got our flower made and we're just gonna do a little bit of inking to the center, make it a little more interesting. And again, glad I have my handy dandy paintbrush because I can really get that ink in there. And then we just have one last thing for this flower is that um, we've cut a, a couple of little leaves. Actually, it's a shape from the Accent Essentials cartridge as well. We didn't talk about it previously, um, but it is on there and it's this kind of four pointed star shape. And I've just cut it in half like that and then cut it in half again. So I, kind of, I get this little pointed leaf shape, which is a really nice shape to adhere to the flower. So I'm going to just press the leaves in the tape that I've already wrapped around the flower. And then I'm gonna take my paintbrush and roll my leaves back. Just run the ink over those as well. Um, and then what I didn't show you for the other flower was that on the underneath side, I'm going to run a piece of double-sided tape around the bottom. Wrap that around and then we want to cut off this part so it will sit in the corsage framework that we've done. Okay. So there we go and we can run over it a little bit with the stickles. Give it a little shimmer. Okay. Our flower is done and the next step will be to adhere it to the framework that we've laid for our corsage. 